The pulls are back shows the latest Bank of America Merrill Lynch Global Fund Manager Survey. But rather than fundamentals, it's the fear of missing out or FOMO, as a lot of people like to use the term, that is driving the decision to invest the cash from uh, these global fund managers. Now, remember, what is this? Just to tell you what this is about. This is the global fund manager survey that Bank of America Merrill Lynch does uh, periodically. This survey was uh, for the period of first was done from the 1st to the 7th November 2019 there were 230 panelists that they reached out to and the total AUM of all the participants cumulatively is a staggering 700 billion dollars now that tells you a thing or two about how important this survey would be now what is this survey trying to say this survey is saying three or four very key important things one that cash levels for global fund managers are at 77 month lows. Look at that chart and that tells you a story, doesn't it? Look at the top line out there. This is the MOM percentage point change in investor positioning and how value versus growth, there has been a shift. Equities have seen a shift and at the lowest end of the panel is cash, which has seen a dramatic reduction. So there's a lot of deployment of cash that has happened uh, from global fund managers. There are uh, what, uh, as per the respondents, what could lead to a bull surprise and what could lead to a bear surprise is also very, very interesting. The bull surprise case, for example, has a mention of the tail risk that comes in. Now, and look at this. What would you consider? This is what the respondents said. That what would they consider to be the biggest tail risk? And they believe trade war is the biggest tail risk. Of course, uh, the the extent of the bullishness compared to October 2019 has come off. The orange line is October 2019. The turquoise blue line is the November 2019 response. And that tail risk thing has come off. But fund managers still believe that amicable resolution of the tail uh, of the uh, trade war remains the biggest tail risk for global equities. What about the bear surprises that, and well, maybe Jerome Powell's testimony uh, l Put, I mean, gave some more Philip to this argument. 84% of the respondents say that the US Fed will not be raising rates before the 2020 elections. If they manage to do it before that, then that could be the bear surprise, according uh, to uh, the fund managers. Also, the other surprise is what did they expect to be the best performing asset class in 2020? And an overwhelming majority believe equities is the class. Now, when everybody's parked in the same lane, usually it doesn't play out that way. And that is something that could be a bit of a bear surprise, according to the respondents. But there are two or three things that work well for equities and for emerging market equities in particular. One, that the risk appetite as per global fund managers seems to be back. And as the chart indicated as well, that there is a bit of one, cash deployment. And two, as this chart indicates, that just look at the kind of stocks in which the positioning is changing versus the hist history and discretionary um, uh, value stocks all of them are coming back no longer are people positioning themselves only on growth companies which will deliver results but other set of number the companies as well this is of course on the global level so this is the interesting thing that happened they believe that earnings per share for the globe is projected to rise what this chart shows you is the global EPS growth which is the current growth uh, as per uh, the data provided or as per the data available and the fund manager survey EPS indicator which is indicating that all fund managers globally believe that EPS will actually rise and do better than what the current actual numbers seem to suggest and that should be augured as a sign again of risk appetite being back back and the last sign of risk appetite being back is that overwhelming favorite is no longer the US equities but the global emerging market equity pack and the next chart shows you that uh, just to in order to explain this chart the red lines are the positioning or the overweight for the emerging market pack and as you can see towards the fag end of the screen it shows you how the world uh, the fund managers are positioned the bars at the fag end of the screen indicate the positioning in the emerging markets which is much higher than the positioning in the US markets or the eurozone markets and this is despite um, the performance of the MSCI EM versus MSCI world not all that great and maybe that's the reason why fund managers believe that the risk reward could be in favor of emerging markets now remember this is as of November this could change going ahead but for now equities and emerging market equities seem to be in vogue for global fund managers all of which cumulatively add up to a total of 700 billion dollars so when such a large sum of money speaks people should listen